welcome to the Maldives. Before you decide to book a ticket to paradise, you might want to learn a little bit more about it. How about we start by taking a look at what life is like today? The main religion is Islam, with many Maldivians being Sunni Muslims. The capital of the Maldives is Malé, but most people live in small villages scattered throughout the islands. Now let's take a look at the government. Their form of government is a multi-party democracy. The country is run by a president, a vice president, and the cabinet. The president and vice president are elected through votes from the people. The cabinet is made up of the vice president, government ministers, the attorney general, and these spots are selected by the president. Now let's look at some of the history of Maldives. Life during the age of imperialism. Firstly, the language. Arabic, Hindi, and English are all spoken in the Maldives, but the official language is Devehi, or Maldivian. Education. There are both traditional schools in the Maldives, called Maktabs, and English language primary and secondary schools, offering a grander span of educational options. Continuing on the history of the Maldives, let's look at some of the previous rulers. In 1750 through 1757, Sultan Muhammad Imaduddin III ruled the Maldives. He was the son of Sultan Muhammad Imaduddin II and was held captive in 1752 on Kavaradi Island. He died in captivity in 1757. In 1902 to 1934, Sultan Muhammad Shamsuddin III was the ruler of the Maldives. He was the son of Sultan Ibrahim Nuruddin of the Maldives and was nominated as Sultan at the age of 14. In 1954 through 1968, Sultan Muhammad Farididi was the ruler of the Maldives. He was the last Sultan of the Maldives before it became a republic, was the first Maldivian king, and was removed from the throne when the Maldives became a republic. Now let's look at some of the key events in Maldivian history. In 1887, the Maldives first became British protectorate. In 1932, the Maldives' first written constitution was adopted with British involvement. In 1953, the Maldives became a republic instead of a sultanate. We've already looked at some of the more historical rulers, so let's talk about some of the common presidents. There's a lot here, so we're only going to go over a few. With our first president, Ibrahim Nasir, who ruled from 1968 to 1978, he was the first president after the British left. He focused on ending the Maldivian isolation, modernizing the working and tourism industries, and continuing the independence movement. Then we have Mamun Abdul Gayoom, the longest reigning president from the Maldives. He ruled from 1978 to 2008, almost 30 years. He was the Minister of Defense and National Security, as well as the Minister of Finance and Treasury. Now we have our current president, Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh, who was elected into the presidency in 2018. He assisted in a political reform movement which led to a new constitution and multi-party democracy that can be seen today. Now, every country has its highs and lows, and one of the more unfortunate parts of the Maldivian history is the, the terrorism that has been occurring since 2013. Islam extremists bombed a tourist area in 2013. In response, Gayoom, the president during the time, constrained Islamic religious freedom, which led to more conflict. Nasheed, the next president, returned some of the freedom, but tensions were still high and they are yet to be resolved. Currently, Maldivians are illegally crossing to Iraq and Syria to join ISIS because of the religious turmoil. Now that you've learned about the history of the Maldives, let's talk about their rich, rich culture. Let's start with the Maldivian flag and what each section means. The red border represents those who fought for the country. The green section symbolizes peace and prosperity. The crescent symbolizes the Islamic faith. Coral carvings are present not only in Maldivian architecture, but also in cultural artifacts, like the marriage dowry box to the right. Literature is another incredibly important part of Maldivian culture. Rivaru is a popular poetry form that can consist of love poems to epic stories. Folk tales have been told by word of mouth until recently, and they range from Maldivian myths to origin stories about the country, like how coconuts first arrived, to moral lessons for children. Next up, we will be looking at the top three places to visit in the Maldives. First off, we're going to start off with the capital city of the Maldives called Malé. It is one of the biggest cities in the Maldives and it is located on the southern edge of the Kafu Atoll. The Banana Reef is another place to visit in the Maldives. It is located in the northern section of Malé Atoll. It is a diving site and is one of the world's best known diving sites and was the first diving spot in the country to get certified. 
Shaped like a banana, it hosts a myriad of adventure activities and with its tropical nature and great diversity of marine life, it is a top spot for anyone wanting to experience adventure sports. Lastly, we have the Uthimu Gunduru. This is a small historically significant island in the Maldives and it is located in the northern part of the Maldives. It resembles a small green jellyfish and is historically significant since it is the birthplace of Sultan Muhammad Thakarufanu, an esteemed ruler who is infamous for chasing Portuguese intruders out of the Maldives. It represents the monumental heritage of Sultan Muhammad. The palace is made out of wood and is one of the major tourist attractions of the Maldives. Lastly, here are some things you should know before you visit the Maldives. Travelers in the Maldives need to know that they are not allowed to bring or use drugs other than for medical purposes, and they are not allowed to influence Maldivians with their religious beliefs. Also, when you visit the Maldives, you are not allowed to consume alcohol outside of resort premises or take resort alcohol off premises because if you get caught, it is a punishable offense. It is also illegal to export any form of shell, sand, or coral from the country. That's all, folks.